Did you know that you're on a painted board, Potato? You are. That's you. Welcome back to the channel. And it is raining today here in Central Florida. Oh my gosh, it has been like storming really, really tremendously over the last couple of days. But I'm going to take you into some video footage here. I am at Lowe's right now and feeling inspired. I kind of want to plant, but I came here specifically for this kind of thing for the front lawn where there's like grass growing in the mulch. So got this thing here. This is a replacement for one of the ceiling fans in the house. And then I've got a shower tub cleaner, the Zep. I bought the same brand for the grout cleaner when I did the grout in the bathrooms. And then I just needed an all purpose cleaner too in general. This is all the caulking for the baseboards. So I've got hopefully enough of that. I've got five, six tubes of it. Oh yeah, five tubes. And then there's one tube for the shower because I'm gonna re-caulk the, uh, the, the main shower. This one is an indoor one. It's got a big leaves on it. Isn't that beautiful? So it's perfect green home, nature's way. Fiddle leaf fig. Is this a good one? Looks good to me. This is cool too, but that one would go on like the patio, it says. It's more of like a porch plant. Oh, look at this one. That's pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of ones to choose from. I'm just gonna do this one here because I want something green by the kitchen table and it'll be kind of by the window then. Plopped it out with the slightly better one. It has more leaves that don't have anything wrong with them. Yeah, that one, I put it back. It looked kind of wimpy sad to say but okay oh my gosh well I'm currently in the middle of making a mess but I'm really enjoying what I'm doing over here so I picked up these tables at an estate sale and then these chairs at another estate sale can you believe those are lazy boy chairs mid-century era or eh, about the 70s or the 80s really but they are um, they were $20 for the pair yeah 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 and the tables were 35 which is outstanding. So I decided to arrange it this way to create more of like a, I don't know, it's like mid-century mixed with boho. And then I decided to take down two paintings that were there. Currently, my thoughts for this whole wall and everything is to leave that blank so that I can go somewhere and relax. You can't have stuff happening everywhere. Right now, there's two groupings, two primary groupings. There's this, and then there's this. My goal is to make this all one thing. So the way that I've been kind of playing around with it is this bird cage carries the eye over and the painting carries the eye over. Although I do not like those there. I think they're too harsh and they're weird, especially the painting on the ground. So what I want to do is delete both of those and then put plants there. So a small grouping of maybe three, uh, one large, maybe the size of that bird cage and then a smaller, and then a smaller. And then maybe a small plant on this table over here, just to sort of bookend the whole moment. And that would be that. The only other thing to ground it is to put a rug here. And in this case, uh, since that's so heavy, I'd probably just get a one that goes to the edge of this wall here and run it right up to that and get rid of that light, obviously. And I would get something that hugs the well, you could, you could play it different ways. You could get something that hugs the ceiling or you could have something that like drops down to like here, which would be kind of an interesting choice. But I am liking the idea of hugging it towards the ceiling. Something maybe a Sputnik mid-century style with like the bars that come off and then like the exposed bulb sort of thing and maybe a gold tone. And if you can recall, that was currently there. It was the wrong scale. It was the wrong everything. And then those other, that photo, that picture was up there with the other. I never liked any of it. The other thing I got is this, and I'm super happy about it as well. It's this little bar cart, and I think it's brilliant underneath this painting like that. So very happy with that. Oh, I've got the line up on the back porch. I'm experimenting with drying my clothes on the back porch. It's a fun little thing. Um, but I really like the way this looks uh, with the painting here because you've got this painting and then this a little bit lower. So you can kind of do interesting things here, some tall items, whatever. And then that was there before, but I, I never liked it because it was too tall. It was too tall and, and the, the weight of it was all wrong and everything. And now currently I've got these two chairs here and then that's the new plant that I picked up 
at Walmart, I think, with a little terracotta pot. I need to pull it out of the plastic liner and stick it just in there. But yes, I am liking what's going on over here. It's, it's nicer. It has like more going on. It's shaping the door more. And then this plant can kind of grow up and sort of help shape it even more as it gets bigger. But um, I actually have some furniture coming that I'm probably going to stick here instead of those. Although those do look nice. I don't know. Maybe the ones I picked out will go on the back porch. I don't know. Also, I put the green plant over here that I picked up at the store. So that's pretty nice. It needs, uh, for now, it needs actually a table so that it can be higher. It needs to be higher than this. It's too low. Once it actually grows, then you can drop the table out and put in, you know, whatever. But it needs to be, really, this, the top of this plant should be somewhere like about here. So that's kind of where I'm thinking. So it needs, it needs a table right there to, to bring it up. So this company called Tri Treat sent me this subscription box here. So I'm gonna open it up and take a look at it. And also I'm able to give you like the special code and with it you get 15% off if you use the code Jeffrey Thomason, which is my name. So I'll put that on the screen so you can see what it looks like. Is this Mexico? It is Mexico. Look, they give you like the postcards. Have I been there? I don't know. I don't think I've been there. Oh my gosh, Mexico facts. I'll have to read that later whenever I'm going to bed. It shows you what's inside your box. I don't wanna know right now. <gasps> Ooh, look at all these things, oh my gosh. Marabas, cookies. Oh my gosh, we're gonna try everything. Oh, these are just crackers. Crackers. Mmm, this reminds me of an animal cracker. Have you ever had one of them? For my next item, ooh, Chacaritas. That looks beautiful. They're little green balls. They look like little tiny peas. Mmm. Oh, mm. these are mint. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh. It's like you just got out of the Olive Garden and they give you your little mint. Takis? Takis Hugo chips. Now we're switching gears to something that is not sweet. It looks like a savory. Easy open. Hasn't been so far. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look how red this is. Look at all the texture. Oh my God. Wow. That's like a high quality Dorito. I like that a lot. I would recommend that one. Oh, I, should, I feel like I should be giving you scores. Like scores, hmm. What would I give this out of? One out of a 10? I'd give this a 10. This one out of a 10, I'd give this a 10. One out of a 10, I would give this an eight because it's simple, but I guess it's trying to be simple. Chocolate covered marshmallow lollipop. Okay, I'm excited for this. What? Look at this. It's a marshmallow on a stick. Hmm, maybe I'm not a fan of the texture because it's like fluffy. Six, I'd give this a six. Yeah, because it feels very strange to eat it. Boo Boo Loo Boo, marshmallow and strawberry. Gummy with chocolate flavored coating. So beautiful, ready now? Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Now this also has that marshmallow thing, kind of like this, but this marshmallow is like a little bit more, has a bite rather than a pull. And I like the fact there's the jelly with it. So it's more, it's more things going on. I would rate this a nine out of 10. Mm-hmm. It's time for a palette cleanser. So this is Carlos V, which I don't know what V stands for. Victory. Milk chocolate style bar. Here's what it looks like. That looks like something you do not want on your body. The doctor would say, ooh, you need medication. Let's find out. Um, no. I think, not, no. So I would rate this a two. A two out of 10 because it is edible. For our next item, oh, it looks like a caramel lollipop. That's what it says. 
Oh, you can't bite it. I'm bored. <laughs> Let's stick that back in the wrapper. So it's caramel. It's caramel on a stick. Right. I would rate this four out of 10 because caramel is good, but like, that's kind of basic and boring. We don't like that. Hide and seek. Those look beautiful. So Choco, it's called the Choco Rolls. Uh-huh. This might, this looks like the best thing in here so far. Oh, those are fancy. Mm. Mm hmm You know what? These are good. You know why I like them? Because there's a texture difference. You've got the sort of chocolate ganache on the interior. I would recommend this. So I would say somewhere between eight or nine out of 10. Yeah, uh-huh. Japanese style peanuts. Oh! Now I was noticing on this little paper, they give you this, it tells you all about things. Like for instance, this, Pinotera nuts by Manzella are Japanese style peanuts made by the most prominent creator of Japanese style nuts in Mexico. So let me grab a couple nuts and stick them in my mouth. Whoa. I like that. That's very interesting. I would rate these an eight. I'd say eight out of 10. So they're very nutty. Mm -hmm. They have a hard shell. It's enjoyable. And there's a slight, very slight pepper, but not much. So they're not like basic like a peanut. Pulperindo with real fruit. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's like, what is it? I'll just break off a little bit of this. It's just, look at this texture. Um, no. I'm now wondering what real fruit this is. Tamarind pulp. What's a tamarind? <sighs> I've never heard of that fruit before in my life. Well, anyway, um, I would rate this a four. A four out of 10. It's just not my vibe. The texture is gritty. It's like a gritty texture. And the fruit itself is sort of like sour mixed with sweet. There you go, Bocadin. So let's see what this says here. It says, actually, I can't read that. It looks like a wafer with chocolate on it. And I've had a wafer with chocolate on it and I am a fan. So let's see about this one. If somebody had these for free and I'm like, oh, I really want something sweet in my mouth, I would probably just eat it. But I would never buy these. Um, okay, I would rate this a seven out of 10 because it's delightful. It's just, um, not that impressionable, maybe. I, we're not gonna go tell my friends about it. So, yeah, no, probably not. Milk chocolate with crispy cereal, and it's of a frog. That looks very interesting. Oh no, I think the frog melted. <gasps> oh no. You ever play Frogger? And the frog doesn't make it. That's what happened here. It's more or less just not a frog anymore. This is what it looks like at this point in its life. Mm-hmm. That's okay. The chocolate's not the best quality, but what, basically what this is, is like Ice Krispie cereal, essentially. Maybe like a, like a Nestle type of a chocolate, like a crunch bar or something. Mixed with like dollar store chocolate Easter bunny, like that kind of. So yeah, I would rate this um, maybe a four or a five. The chocolate itself isn't really coming through. I like the fact that it has texture though. So maybe I'll say five. And that's my box. So if you were keeping count, I mean, I really like these little square things. Those were good. And then, mm, actually these were good too. The Takis, the chips, they're, they, and, and now, I mean, there was some good stuff in here. Anyway, so if you'd like to get a box of your own, it's a subscription box thing. And every month you'll have a different country in your mouth. Wow. So if you'd like to do that, use my code. It's on the screen and you can have 15% off your first box. I'm back at Lowe's and I wanted to get one of these plant stands for the plant that's like over by the table in the window. So I decided to get that size there. It's like 14 bucks for that one. So that's nice. And they have all these other pots. Oh, that's really pretty. I like how natural that is. I'm gonna try to find some pots and things at estate sales. I'm studying in this new area over here and I really like it because I can view the room from a totally different angle that I'm not used to seeing. So I've got my crystals over here. I've got the new plant over here that I recently picked up at Lowe's. Yeah, it's just it's just a really nice 
vibe. But I also got to thinking about how I want to paint this wall over here. Oh my gosh. So that was a very provocative wall. Many people up in arms over this color, this paint color. And all I can say about that is once upon a time, I had an idea and it worked in my mind and in reality for a while. But eventually things started coming together in all the other ways here at the house with the flooring, with the backsplash, with the countertops. And so now I'm looking at it and I think it's just out of place. So I need to go neutral with it. I think that'll really help this space harmonize so much better. Basically what I'm looking at is taking this pink color and getting rid of it. Going with something actually kind of on the side of this color. I have some uh, samples. I'll show you. They are stuck over here on this outlet. So these are some of the ones I just quickly picked up at Lowe's and I'm currently thinking of this cool beige color here. It's going to definitely play on this floor too because it's going to bring up some of the lighter tones of this. Reese, Stella, hi. Hi Stella, are you ready to go outside? Both of you, let's go. Let's go outside. Oh Stella, let's go. Girl, you're just standing there, let's go. Wake up, woman. All right, we are so excited. I swept the porch out the other day. It really needed it. Whenever I have the house painted, I'm looking at getting this to be painted as well because I really think that that would help it. Oh, and here's the new line that I put up. It's a retractable line. I'll have this linked in my Amazon bio, or I mean my Amazon account thing, but it's like 40 feet and then it's adjustable obviously so you just wrap it around that little thing there whenever you get it to the length that you want but there's still like way more it goes the whole span of this porch i don't actually know how long this porch is but uh it's pretty long okay are you ready to go outside here we go oh yes very nice reese you're so adorable I think he's oh, he's peeing right now. I love that for him. Yeah, he's gotten really good. And then Stella is tinkling over on her side. So I'm happy because he's really understanding the whole point of this go outside business. Because he does it. He, he takes his tinkle time. Still, number two is not always guaranteed that he does that. But Stella, obviously, she knows what to do. Yes, Stella, you know what to do because you're an old woman and you've been around. Yeah, you have. How are you doing, Reese? Yeah, I bet you're so happy to be out here in the sun. Stella, how are you over there? Yeah, confused as ever. Go, go get Grandma over there. Stella, what are you doing? What are you doing over here? She might be looking for a place to plop out a number two. Oh, she almost tripped. Granny, you need a walker. Yes. Reese, how are you doing? I don't know if he knows his name. Reese? 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 Hi. Oh my gosh, I had to show these things. So I actually received some gifts in the mail and this is hand painted of Stella. There's your little name. So Susan, she, she, she made me a letter and she made this, oh my gosh. It actually really goes so well with this kitchen. Green and everything, that looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, Stella, you're adorable. Did you know that you're on a painted board, Potato? You are. That's you. And then also Krista here sent me these stickers. Oh my gosh, they're like the like kind you can feel. So nice, and these little lights, all this stuff. Well, that's from somebody else, I think. I wanted to show this though. That's another item. Look at this pin, and this other pin, that's a beautiful pin. So yeah, these are so nice, all these little gifts. So thanks to both of you. And I've also received uh, a few different letters and things. I've gotten those. All right, thanks for watching, and I will wrap up this video here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.